Southern can be the first step in getting you wherever you want to go in life. When you come to Southern, you're right at home. Come home to Southern. Southern West Virginia Community and Technical College. Visit southernwv.edu. You can't keep your eye on the ball without the right glasses. Come see us at White Eye Care for the right prescription to help you play your best. We have a wide selection of sport and safety glasses to fit your young athlete's needs and help keep them safe. Our safety glasses can be made with or without prescription correction, tint, anti-reflective, and anti-fogging coating. Let our pediatric optometrists and staff help you see your best. Visit us online or come in to White Eye Care in Logan today. Giovanni's of Logan. Visit the newly renovated restaurant and convenient drive through It is the Italian place to be. Call today, 304-752-9030 or check out their specials online at giovannislogan.com. The Southern Wildcats would like to wish all the high school basketball teams the best of luck in the postseason. Injured in a car wreck? Need a criminal defense lawyer? Call Justin Markham. He will fight for you. When you are injured, it's important to find someone to protect your interests. Justin Markham and his team will do just that. Call Justin Markham at Next Step Legal, 304-235-235. 1475 304 235 REC. Justin Markham, Next Step Legal. At Boone Memorial Health, every patient is an important patient. As primary care providers, care starts with us. Understanding patients' health concerns is the first step in great care. We take our responsibilities seriously to listen to get to the bottom of a diagnosis, to teach, to care. You choose Boone. You choose the start to a healthier life. Make the choice today. Boone Memorial Health. We're bringing medicine home. Welcome to Allstate. You already paid for car insurance. Why not take your home along for the ride? Allstate. Here, better protection costs a whole lot less. You're in good hands with Allstate. Call the local agent or 1-800-ALLSTATE for a quote today. In 2019, Dax was diagnosed with a rare neurodegenerative disorder called vanishing white matter. Since his diagnosis, we've been working diligently to raise money for research. Due to the rarity of vanishing white matter, research relies heavily on private funding. Last year, Dax was accepted into a clinical trial in the Netherlands, but there is still approximately a $500,000 deficit we need to fill for the trial. Please consider making a donation to help us save his life. Even a small amount can make a huge impact in the world of vanishing white matter. Sydney with your total automotive experience waiting at Thornhill GM Superstore. Let's trade keys. Swing by Thornhill GM where well-qualified buyers enjoy 2.9% APR for 60 months on new GMC Sierra 1500 models, plus no payments for 90 days. Find new roads and go anywhere this year in a new Chevy from Thornhill GM Superstore. It's Sydney and we're heating things up this winter with 4.99% APR for 72 months on new Chevy Equinox Blazer and Traverse plus 90 day payment deferral. Get your Chevy at Thornhill. They say home is where the heart is. Southern West Virginia Community and Technical College has campuses located in the heart of the coal fields. Southern is providing the tools and the skills to change lives. With over 50 accredited degrees and programs, 
We are building the pathways to solid, good paying careers. Southern can be the first step in getting you wherever you want to go in life. When you come to Southern, you're right at home. Come home to Southern. Southern West Virginia Community and Technical College. Visit southernwv.edu. You can't keep your eye on the ball without the right glasses. Come see us at White Eye Care for the right prescription to help you play your best. We have a wide selection of sport and safety glasses to fit your young athlete's needs and help keep them safe. Our safety glasses can be made with or without prescription correction, tint, anti-reflective, and anti-fogging coating. Let our pediatric optometrists and staff help you see your best. Visit us online or come in to White Eye Care in Logan today. Giovanni's of Logan. Visit the newly renovated restaurant and convenient drive through It is the Italian place to be. Call today, 304-752-9030 or check out their specials online at giovannislogan.com. The Southern Wildcats would like to wish all the high school basketball teams the best of luck in the postseason. Injured in a car wreck? Need a criminal defense lawyer? Call Justin Markham. He will fight for you. When you are injured, it's important to find someone to protect your interests. Justin Markham and his team will do just that. Call Justin Markham at Next Step Legal, 304-235-235. 1475 304 235 Rec. Justin Markham, Next Step Legal. At Boone Memorial Health, every patient is an important patient. As primary care providers, care starts with us. Understanding patients' health concerns is the first step in great care. We take our responsibilities seriously to listen to get to the bottom of a diagnosis, to teach, to care. You choose Boone, you choose the start to a healthier life. Make the choice today. Boone Memorial Health, we're bringing medicine home. Welcome to Allstate. You already pay for car insurance. Why not take your home along for the ride? Allstate. Here, better protection costs a whole lot less. You're in good hands with Allstate. Call a local agent or 1-800-ALLSTATE for a quote today. In 2018, Dax was diagnosed with a rare neurodegenerative disorder called Vanishing White Matter. Since his diagnosis, we've been working diligently to raise money for research. Due to the rarity of Vanishing White Matter, research relies heavily on private funding. Last year, Dax was accepted into a clinical trial in the Netherlands, but there is still approximately a $500,000 deficit we need to fill for the trial. Please consider making a donation to help us save his life. Even a small amount can make a huge impact in the world of vanishing white matter. Sydney with your total automotive experience waiting at Thornhill GM Superstore. Let's trade keys. Swing by Thornhill GM where well-qualified buyers enjoy 2.9% APR for 60 months on new GMC Sierra 1500 models, plus no payments for 90 days. Find new roads and go anywhere this year in a new Chevy from Thornhill GM Superstore. It's Sydney and we're heating things up this winter with 4.99% APR for 72 months on new Chevy Equinox Blazer and Traverse plus 90 day payment deferral. Get your Chevy at Thornhill. They say home is where the heart is. Southern West Virginia Community and Technical College has campuses located in the heart of the coal fields. 
Southern is providing the tools and the skills to change lives. With over 50 accredited degrees and programs, we are building the pathways to solid, good paying careers. Southern can be the first step in getting you wherever you want to go in life. When you come to Southern, you're right at home. Come home to Southern. Southern West Virginia Community and Technical College. Visit southernwv.edu. You can't keep your eye on the ball without the right glasses. Come see us at White Eye Care for the right prescription to help you play your best. We have a wide selection of sport and safety glasses to fit your young athletes' needs and help keep them safe. Our safety glasses can be made with or without prescription correction, tint, anti-reflective, and anti-fogging coating. Let our pediatric optometrists and staff help you see your best. Visit us online or come in to White Eye Care in Logan today. Giovanni's of Logan. Visit the newly renovated restaurant and convenient drive through It is the Italian place to be. Call today, 304-752-9030 or check out their specials online at giovanni'slogan.com. The Southern Wildcats would like to wish all the high school basketball teams the best of luck in the postseason. Injured in a car wreck? Need a criminal defense lawyer? Call Justin Markham. He will fight for you. When you're injured, it's important to find someone to protect your interests. Justin Markham and his team will do just that. Call Justin Markham at Next Step Legal, 304-235-235. 1475 304 235 REC. Justin Markham, Next Step Legal. At Boone Memorial Health, every patient is an important patient. As primary care providers, care starts with us. Understanding patients' health concerns is the first step in great care. We take our responsibilities seriously to listen to get to the bottom of a diagnosis, to teach, to care. You choose Boone, you choose the start to a healthier life. Make the choice today. Boone Memorial Health, we're bringing medicine home. Welcome to Allstate. You already pay for car insurance. Why not take your home along for the ride? Allstate. Here, better protection costs a whole lot less. You're in good hands with Allstate. Call a local agent or 1-800-ALLSTATE for a quote today. In 2018, Dax was diagnosed with a rare neurodegenerative disorder called vanishing white matter. Since his diagnosis, we've been working diligently to raise money for research. Due to the rarity of vanishing white matter, research relies heavily on private funding. Last year, Dax was accepted into a clinical trial in the Netherlands, but there is still approximately a $500,000 deficit we need to fill for the trial. Please consider making a donation to help us save his life. Even a small amount can make a huge impact in the world of vanishing white matter. Sydney with your total automotive experience waiting at Thornhill GM Superstore. Let's trade keys. Swing by Thornhill GM where well-qualified buyers enjoy 2.9% APR for 60 months on new GMC Sierra 1500 models, plus no payments for 90 days. Find new roads and go anywhere this year in a new Chevy from Thornhill GM Superstore. It's Sydney and we're heating things up this winter with 4.99% APR for 72 months on new Chevy Equinox Blazer and Traverse plus 90 day payment deferral. Get your Chevy at Thornhill. They say home is where the heart is. 
Southern West Virginia Community and Technical College has campuses located in the heart of the coal fields. Southern is providing the tools and the skills to change lives. With over 50 accredited degrees and programs, we are building the pathways to solid, good paying careers. Southern can be the first step in getting you wherever you want to go in life. When you come to Southern, you're right at home. Come home to Southern. Southern West Virginia Community and Technical College. Visit southernwv.edu. You can't keep your eye on the ball without the right glass. What's up, everybody? We are here in Ripley, West Virginia for the regional championship game. It's me, Stevie Browning, alongside champion here at Ripley, it's Coach Seth Hainer. What's up, guys? And let's get right into the starting lineup tonight. For Logan, we have number one, Julius Clancy, number two, Scotty Browning, number three, Cole Blankenship, number five, Jaron Glick, and number 13, Aiden Slack. On the Ripley side, we have number one, Luke Johnson, number three, Dylan Casto, Number 11, Isaiah Casto. Number 21, Brady Anderson. And number 23, Cade Good. Coach Hainer, you know, we, we, we watched warm-ups here. Um, we saw that Ripley has a lot of size. What is Logan going to have to do to try and fight that size for them? Speed him up, Stevie. Maybe we try to get out and run with him. You hear me? Yep. So maybe we can speed them up, you know, spread the floor, try to get out and run in transition. Uh, what do you think they're going to sit back in a zone? I don't know what Ripley no, likes to do. You know, usually they play man-to-man. -man. They pretty much haven't switched it up all year. They've been a predominantly man-to-man -man team. And I think you're absolutely right. I think Logan's going to have to get after it. I think they're going to have to um, give full court pressure and, and, you know, really speed this game up because, you know, they, they go 6-10 and 6-6 on the inside. So... I mean, that's going to be tough to rebound. Logan's biggest guy is Jaron Glick and Ivan, and they're six four, so they're going to have to speed this one up. I like uh, I like the like when we pressed Scott. Man, we looked really good, made that comeback when we were pressing mm -hmm. last game against Scott. I think we went on like a nine zero run there in the yep. fourth. And that's gonna. I think that's that's the key to the game right there. That and can they can they rebound defensively? It's got to be a collective effort on the two bigs. Um, Everybody's going to have to crash. Point guards off. Point guards and all. And we are right in the midst of this Logan section with the tip coming up. We have Luke Johnson tipping it up against Scotty Browning. Luke Johnson, the younger brother of Chase Johnson, who played at Florida. Um, good genes in that family because Chase was about six foot seven. His brother's about six ten. That's a big old dude right there, man. And I would, Logan is in a defensive tip here. The tip up. And the tip controlled by Casto. Browning picking up. Looks like Logan's in a 1-2-2. Two, two. And a three will be up by Casto, and it is good. Browning with the ball. He calls a play. Slack has it. Swings it to Glick. Glick hand off to Browning. Browning makes a move, kicks the slack, slack drives, pass to the corner, swings it around the blanket ship, blanket ship drives, passes to Browning. Browning takes a two, up, good. Nice shot, Scotty. And Logan is in a 2-2-1, two, two, it looks like. Oh, they had him right there at that spot. And oh! Aiden Slack with a steal. He'll push, get it to Browning. Browning looks, drives, pull, no good. Rebound corralled by number 11, Isaiah Casto. We got to get more guys rebounding on them shots, Steve. Them offensive rebounds, we got to crash. Got to crash. Yeah, big. Casto gets called for a travel. Looks like he took just a little hop, a little extra step right there. Looks like he did a little Cupid shuffle out there, Coach Hainer. Mm -hmm. And Logan will inbound it. Slack with the ball. Ripley up 3-2 to two here early. Slack being guarded by Brady Anderson, who's a big. Browning with the ball, loses control, gets it back. Kicks it to Clancy in the corner. Clancy makes a spin move, loses it. Casto on the run. 
And he will get the ball stripped away, but it will stay Ripley ball. I think they want Joyce to shoot that shot. He might have had a little look there. Enough time to get one off. They're so long. I mean, I don't know if you can really. Once you drive in there, you got to kick. We got to. We got to shoot the ball. Yeah. By how big they are, man. We have yeah. to get shots up. And and you know I say it all the time. As aggressive as Julius can be, it's better for this team. Yep. So we'll have a three up right there. No good. Good box out. And that will be a over the back foul on Anderson. And that is good. Aiden, for the Wildcats. Aiden Slack with the box out. It's good seeing him back out on the floor. How many games back is this for Aiden now? I think this is his third. Wayne was his first one, so his fourth game. Um, Ripley showing a little pressure. Not too much. Just looked like they're taking, trying to take Scotty away. He'll get the ball regardless. Call a play. Calls an L. You'll see a double to a ball screen right here. There it is. Put the big man in the pick and roll. Aiden Slack with it. Scotty gets it back. They've got number 11. He's chasing Scotty. The other ones are pretty much playing help side. Scotty shoots a pull. No good. Stays but all right. it'll be tipped by Johnson and stay here. Slack will inbound. Out to Glick. Blanket Chip has it. Drives, swing to Clancy. Clancy has a lane. And a layup up and missed. Looked like there was some contact. No call. And Glick will get charged with the 50 50 foul right there. Both of them going for the ball. That's a type of a aggressiveness, if that's a word, that the Wildcats need, though. So you're not upset at Glick about that. I like it. Oh, they're throwing them long ones around, Stevie. Yes, they are. And Logan stays true to that zone. We are holding down the big man. We are squeezing him every chance we get. Yep. Do they want him shooting? I like forcing him, Three. They're forcing him out. Up, uh, no good by Casto. Rebound Anderson. And he will get fouled and head to the line for two. And that's a big old kid. You went, hey, I'm just looking at the side. Win some, lose some, man. We're, it's going to be back and forth on the rebound. It's going to take multiple bodies being put on him and Johnson. First free throw up and good. The free throw looks smooth too. Tell you what, the two big men, 21 Johnson and the other one, what's his name? Anderson. Anderson have not got a touch down though, so we would not let him get to catch the ball and go to work once. So that's pretty good on our job. Yep, now just got to keep him off the glass. Yep. And they will make both. Blankenship has the ball. Cole will swing it to Slack, over to Clancy. Get it to Browning. Over to Slack, three up by Slack, no good. Rebound, Glick. And he will get called for a double dribble. And Logan will go to a 2-2-1. And Ripley is a, is a good defensive team. You know, they've got all that size, so they just put their hands up and make things tough. Logan's going to have to speed this game up and get it going. I like this right now. This down. is a little bit of time off each time. This is great. We're good. And Ripley swings it around, feeds it underneath to Anderson. And Don't he give just up that baseline. Can't give it up. Blanket chip, kicks to Clancy. Clancy layup, good. A nice take by Julius Clancy. As aggressive as he can be, the better it is for the Wildcats. Still staying with the 2-2-1. Ripley swings it around in the hands of Casto. He's going to get trapped. That's one the Wildcats have to get on. And a good block, a good block by Aiden Slack. Our, scram our scramble is looking really good. We get a trap, man. We are running, flying all over this floor right now. And subs come into the game. You hear a huge ovation for Garrett Williamson. I can't believe I'm seeing him out there right now. Let's go. And Ivan Miller also into the game. And Johnson will have it. And right now Johnson's playing more on the perimeter. Ripley will swing it around. 
three, taking, up and good by number 23, Cade Good. Good by good. Browning with the ball. He'll drive. He'll get a foul. That will be the first on Isaiah Casto. And Williamson will take the ball out under. It's it's crazy that we're seeing Gary Williamson. The return. Warrior. Warrior, man. A warrior. He's been that since the beginning. Who almost had that seal there with Ivan. And he'll take a two. No good. And Slack will run down the rebound. Kick it out to Clancy. Clancy swings to Williamson. Williamson up for three. And a 317 Steakhouse three by Garrett Williamson in the return. And this Logan fan is really making their presence known. A good move. Oh, big man came in off the glass. Got to put a butt on him, man. Got to get a body Gotta on him. Got to put a butt on him. It's tough. Scotty Browning has it. Swings it to Williamson. Williamson being guarded by Anderson. Back to Browning. And a two up and good by Browning. Sorry, I got caught watching the game right there. I did too, man. Don't even worry about it. And Logan, this trap is working, man. Those are the ones we want. Logan stays in this white. They got to watch the backside right there. And that will be... They will call it off Williamson, and it will stay Ripley ball. But the refs are going to talk about it. And they will switch it, saying that it was off of Anderson. And Williamson is pumped up. And so is the Logan crowd. And while we got it, I want to give a huge shout-out to Mountaintop Media over here at Ripley. They helped us get set up and everything in this game, man. Uh, we couldn't done it without them. We appreciate them. Follow them, like them, share them, all that good stuff. We'll bring, come back, and a tried to sneak it in there. Slack will get it. Williamson will have it. Screen coming by Miller. Takes it back to Miller. Over to Slack. To Clancy. Clancy will kick it to Miller. I think Ivan might Brown. need to get a, get a few shots. I mean, that guy's playing off by him. I think Ivan can shoot it, man. I tried. Well, they were playing. They were. I watched them play a shooting game the other day, and they and Ivan was shooting the ball I, well. I think. Oh, nice back door. Back door, but it is caught, and bodies all over the floor, and there's a break for for Ripley. Johnson with the ball, swings it over to Good. Good back to Johnson. Three up, no good. Rebound bounced around and controlled by Anderson. A three, ooh, a three up and good by Good. That's his second of the game. And that had a hand in his face right there. Clancy with the ball. Makes a move. Up and one by Julius Clancy. Nice take by Julius. Julius being aggressive. Julius can get up there around that rim, man. He's got a great first step. And he's long enough to even draw in the defenders and still get it off. Absolutely. And that'll send Clancy to the line for his, possibly his fifth point of this contest. And, and I'm not... And they changed the foul to number 20, who was guarding Scotty Browning at about the three-point line. I'm not sure about that. And free throw up and good by Clancy. That'll be a three-point lead by Ripley. And Logan is in a run and jump. And Scotty Browning gets a steal. Passes it up to Clancy. Clancy layup up and good, and that makes it a one-point lead. Ripley pushes, gets it to Anderson. And there will be a charge on Anderson and Williamson in his return from multiple knee injuries, giving effort that almost sends chills up your spine. I'm, I'm getting, I, I don't know what, I'm speechless, man. It's almost like he ain't lost a step. That It's like that mind is still there. That's what he does. It's the mindset. He does, does it's what he does, man. Takes a charge, gets a rebound, hits get a, a three. three, drop the dime off to Scotty for the layup. And 
you know, go back to this last possession. I think that's what's best for Logan is is get okay. White the two two one is a more relaxed conservative press, but this last these last couple possessions they've been in a man to man run and jump, and Ripley is not like it. No, so no. I would love to see them get into that and really sink their teeth in. Browning with the ball. I like that matchup. Scotty's got to go at. Oh yes, and he'll miss it, but he'll get his own rebound back. Oh, Down nice to pass. Miller. And Miller will up and good, and it's, that it's, puts Logan up one. If Scotty's playing that aggressive, we're in for a good night. And Logan in a man-to-man, -man, and I assume they're going to feed it to Johnson. Doing a good job denying the big man the ball. Ivan's down there working right now. Yep. And Good has it, swings it back to the top. Ivan is doing a good job down there working. Three up and good by Casto. Dylan Casto, that is. 23 seconds left in this first quarter, and it's back and forth. Coach Zach Green calls a play right in front of us. Browning has it. He'll cut off Williamson. Williamson will turn, take a fadeaway up, and he will get fouled and go to the line with 6.3 seconds left and a chance to tie this game up at 20 or at 18. Sorry. And we will have a few subs come in after this first free throw. Got McCormick Hill who's checking in for the first time. Mack will come in and apply pressure on Sean this last 6.3 seconds. First free throw up and good by Williamson. And he will get Scotty Browning to get a break. Logan needs to make sure they're matched up right here. Second free throw from Williamson. I would almost make it, I'd make it hard to inbound it, man. I'd yep. And they get it in. Oh, he won. Oh. And three up and no good. Rebound corral by Williamson. And we will take our first break here at Mountain Dreams Media. Find new roads and go anywhere this year in a new Chevy from Thornhill GM Superstore. It's Sydney, and we're heating things up this winter with 4.99% APR for 72 months on new Chevy Equinox Blazer and Traverse, plus 90-day payment deferral. Get your Chevy at Thornhill. They say home is where the heart is. Southern West Virginia Community and Technical College has campuses located in the heart of the coal fields. Southern is providing the tools and the skills to change lives. With over 50 accredited degrees and programs, we are building the pathways to solid, good-paying careers. Southern can be the first step in getting you wherever you want to go in life. When you come to Southern, you're right at home. Come home to Southern. Southern West Virginia Community and Technical College. Visit southernwv.edu. Hey, it's Sydney with your total automotive experience waiting at Thornhill GM Superstore. Let's trade keys. Swing by Thornhill GM where well-qualified buyers enjoy 2.9% APR for 60 months on new GMC Sierra 1500 models, plus no payments for 90 days. And we are back here in Ripley, West Virginia for the second quarter of this game. Shout out to Mr. Glick and 317 Steakhouse. Logan looking to run a play. Get it to Browning. He'll get it. Three up and no good. Rebound by Miller. And he will get it back to Browning. Scotty will drive. Shoot a floater. And good. Nice floater, Scotty. And that makes it a two-point lead by they've the Wildcats. Got the, they've got the other big off the floor. I've noticed, besides the two bigs, Ivan crept right in there and got that board. We could go get a lot of putbacks down yeah. there. Besides those two guys, I've not saw Ripley really put a butt on anybody. Nope. And we will have a foul on Ivan Miller, banging around in the post, but that's what you want of him. Especially he has no fouls. Tell him to be as physical and he aggressive as around. possible. But we leave a wide open three-point shooter, and we will pay for that one by Dylan Casto, and that is his third. Williamson with the ball. He'll drive, swing to Elderton. Elderton will have it back to Browning. Browning to, Browning to Williamson. He'll drop it off to Miller. Ivan will have it short, rebound. See what I mean? Another offensive board, Stevie. Yep, and another, another one. one. And a missed layup. And a push on. Might have been a gimme. Uh, another foul on Ivan right there. And Logan missed 
three chances at the rim right there. That first two looked a little hard. Ivan had a little gimme right there. He might have might have put a little too much on, but that's okay. He's down there battling. And that will send Miller and Clancy to the bench and bring in Slack, Slack and Glick. And Logan. Logan in a, in a run and jump. And he will hand it off to Slack. Slack will have a layup and good. I think Logan needs to stay in the man. Stay to -man. speeding him up. Let's stay, stay speeding him up. up. Big man down here we, has not touched. Oh, there he was. Lost him. And he'll get a dunk on the right other end. Right when I start to say it, don't it. Always happens help. that way. You got to make the guard finish. Williamson has it. Swings it to Illerton. Back to Williamson. He'll swing it to Glick. Glick three up. No good. Battle around for the rebound. Maybe a travel. But Johnson will have it. He'll swing it across. Good. Two up. No good. Browning will have it. He pushes. He pulls up for two. No good. Ilderton will get the rebound, and there will be a tie-up on the floor, and I believe that will go to Ripley. And when, when, when it gets broke down like that, you can't – come up and play the ball and leave the big man. That's it. Man to man. My, could never do it with my boys, but we even struggled in a diamond. That backside rotation always came up to help stop ball and that's what happens. Turns that's, out that guy's 6'10", we're leaving. That's the hardest part. And another travel Referees before a three-pointer. Referees are watching them steps. Yes, they are. Before them shots get off this game. I have noticed that's what the third or fourth one. Logan down one with 5.56 left to go in the second quarter. Williamson has the ball. He will direct traffic, get a screen from Glick, turn it down, and he will get fouled on another shot. And he will head back to the free throw line. And this gives Logan a chance to take the lead. And Logan will go to a 1-2-1-1 one, 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 or your diamond press to try and speed the Vikings up. First free throw from Williamson. I really oh, like that. <laughs> if that happens maybe one one more time, I really like the 2-2-1 two, two, in the beginning, though. See, the 2-2-1, two, two, it doesn't really speed it up. I think they need to speed it up, but uh, we'll see. Williamson, second free throw, up and good. Ripley has all five high, and it looks like they are going to get trapped, and just a little overzealous there by Glick. Logan up one. Williamson telling Coach Green he needs a break. That'll bring Clancy in. And Williamson gets a good ovation. I don't know if the cameras can see this, but the fans are coming through the doors down here. Yes, they are. They're, they are sitting on the aisles. Johnson with the ball. Swings it around the horn. Good. Swings it to the wing. Back to good. Over to Casto. Down to the other Casto. Floater up and good. Browning has it. Logan down one. And he will switch hands and miss a layup. I think he just needs to try and jump into the body of the of, the, of Johnson right there. He jumped a little late right there. That guy, that's a long body to jump into, but I like Scotty going at the rim. Last one, he did settle for the pull-up. I thought he could have kept going. Uh, big guy's coming. I'm probably going to stop. If I got the little guards on me, I, I might take that extra step, a little Euro. Jump into him. Try and, get a, uh, try and get a foul on the big guy. Another good job on the press. We are speed. Logan's they are having trouble getting past half court. And a three up, good no good, out. rebound Browning. And he will get fouled. And that will be on number 20, Myers. That'll be his second foul. And that'll send Browning to the line for one and one early in this second quarter. And pretty much the entire Logan crowd standing. 
I got a feeling me and you're both going to be staying and doing this here in a little bit. First free, <laughs> first free throw by Browning up and good. That ties the score. Yep, it wouldn't surprise me if we were standing. Through. Well, we're on the front row, so we, we, we pretty much dictate if we stand. Second free throw up nice and good shot. by Browning. Logan looks like a running, back in a running jump. Yep. And Casto splits a trap, swings to the other Casto. Three up, no good, bounced around, and it will stay with Ripley. Off that there. was the right call. Bounced off Julius's hands. Coach Green is not happy, but it was the right call. You know, we're the, the, what's his name? Over, they say, they've hit two or three shots from the corner out of this press. But as you can tell as this goes on, them shots are getting more tired. It's more tiring to get them shots up and get sped up as this game goes on. Absolutely. And that is a foul on Jaron Glick. And we'll send Dylan Casto to the line for his first free throws today. I, th I think the last game I did with you, Stevie, we were talking about uh, mullets. And I, I'm pretty sure Ripley's got about five mullets out here right now. Oh, they've got the mullets strong. The mullets are back here. First free throw by Casto up and good. Glick goes to the line. He has three fouls. High ball game here. 442 left. Casto, second free throw, no good. Browning with the ball. He'll take a pull up. No good. And Logan will stay in a ooh, nice pass. Logan in a two three. And they will call a foul. We'll see who they get it on. They got it on number 20, McCormick Ilderton. Logan fans wanting three seconds. He, he better get, he's got to get used to that, man. His size, I think I see three of us jump on him right there. You know, and as a big man, I, I always heard all the coaches that I had tell all the big men, when you catch it, don't bring it down. When you bring it down, the little people can take it. Oh, wait. It took him about the first guy he kept it up, two came, it immediately went below his waist. Yep. First free throw for Johnson, up hard. Ball, ball tipped around. Other big man check back Ripley. in the game. Yep. Uh, free throw up, or not free throw, but layup up, no good. Blank and chip will push. Back to Williamson. And it looks like Ripley's in a 2-3 two, three. Two, three zone. Somebody got to get in Logan that middle there. I like somebody, in the, somebody at the high post there, maybe on the foul line if they're going to play that spread. And we'll see what changes Logan makes for this zone. It's a spread out zone, so I think they could probably drive get, it. Yeah, a get bit. in those gaps. Williamson will take a three. No good. And Casto will have it. Shooter in the corner again. We've left it's him good. a lot. And Myers is right there for a wide open rebound and layup. Tough play, Derek Browning boxed out one guy and another guy slipped in. That happens with all the emphasis being put on Johnson. Slack has it, swings to Cole. Cole, three up, no good. And Casto will have it, swing it to Myers, back to Casto. Casto will swing it to Good. Johnson catches it on the perimeter, back to Good. And Ripley patient, patiently working this ball around, trying to get something in the post to one of the bigs. The Logan fans and the coaches on the refs this about good, this three this seconds. This is good defense right here by Logan, though. I got, I got to say. I agree. And there will be a three up and good by Good. I'm just going to stop talking, Steve. Every time I say something good, we always wind up. That's what happens. And that was a good possession by good, both teams. You know, Logan did a good job at, at scrambling. Logan's going to have to figure out something against his zone. Maybe he's going to get a little ball square. we go. And Williamson will drive, get it back to Browning. And I didn't think that he picked up his I didn't think foot. he picked his foot up either. 
And that will that will that will be Ripley ball as you hear the Logan crowd not happy about I, that one. I, we're pretty close, Steve. I did not I did not see that putting them up. Ripley up five with two minutes and twelve seconds to go. Back in the run and jump, it looks like. Yep. And the ref will calm this down between Johnson and Slack. Doing a little talking. High intensity game. You got to expect that. Castell has the ball guarded by Browning. Logan in a man to man. And they will call a double foul on. On Johnson and Slack, which that's Johnson's first and Slack's first. So really doesn't make that much of a difference. Ripley fans over there wanting the one and one. I don't early. think they shoot on those. I think they're a little too early over here, guys. No, they're not too early. And rebound by Johnson up and good. Derek had a butt on him, man. He just didn't really, it's a hard body to move. Yep. Got the push. And that'll be a three, a 317 Steakhouse three by Garrett Williamson to bring the Wildcats within four. And Logan needed that in a bad, bad way. They had been startled by the zone and hadn't found a way to, to, to shake loose from it. And maybe that. Three by Williamson will open the floodgates. At least make them come out. And go, they're going to have to. They keep hitting. Them, they're going to have to spread that zone out even farther. I agree. Logan goes man to man, run and jump. Mac was jumping and, right with him, looking at him. Yep. And Browning will get a tip on that, and Ripley will take it out on the side. There's one one thing Big Steve always told me growing up in this coaching game: <laughs> if you're going to run and jump, we only jump when we see the back of their head. When the, front of their head we, we don't we don't want to jump you don't want to jump when you see the front Ripley swings it around what a ball screen and that will be out of bounds on Logan not happy with with the defensive possession right there by Logan let a man drive right by should have made the layup but Ripley will take it out and they will get a layup by Anderson. With a minute left, Logan down six. Browning has it. Swings it around the horn. Over to Slack. Back to Williamson. Back to Slack. He takes a dribble. Nice pass. pass. Through blanket ship. Cole short arms it. Doesn't get it to go. And Ripley on the break. Goes a lob. And... Nice defense from Garrett Williamson there, stopping the lob. And it will be Logan Ball. And what was called? The, no, they called a timeout. They called a timeout. And just like that, we will go to a, a quick commercial timeout and be right back here on Mountain Dreams Media. At Boone Memorial Health, every patient is an important patient. As primary care providers, care starts with us. Understanding patients' health concerns is the first step in great care. We take our responsibilities seriously. To listen. To get to the bottom of a diagnosis. To teach. To care. When you choose Boone, you choose the start to a healthier life. Make the choice today. Boone Memorial Health. We're bringing medicine home. And we are back here with the final 35.4 seconds left in this half. Ripley will inbound the ball in their own corner. Good has the ball. Logan fell back into a zone. Yep, swings it to Casto. It seems like Ripley, Casto Ripley might be fine with that clock just chipping away, making us come out. Why wouldn't they? Come back, man. Here Grounding the with jump. the ball. And a steal by Williamson. Garrett will drive past the Elderton. Layup up, no good. Williamson 
Gets the offensive rebound and will draw a foul, and that will head Williamson to the line, I do believe, for a chance to make this a four-point game with nine seconds left. And that's a few layups Logan's yeah. missed already. A lot, a, lot of, a lot of nervous energy going into this game. Well, man. they've got to shake it off. It's the regional championship. This is, go, this is to go to state. It's time. First free throw up and good by Williamson. Shout out to Marcus Reed doing the stats here for us. Second free throw for Williamson, up and good. Logan still showing pressure. Nope. Ball back to yep. I think he said half court, 2 2 1. Williamson with it. Out to Johnson. Skip over. And good layup up and no good by Anderson. And that will bring it to the half. Logan down four. We'll be right back here with a BSN halftime report and a word from Miss Peyton Ilderton on Mountain Dreams Me. You can't keep your eye on the ball without the right glasses. Come see us at White Eye Care for the right prescription to help you play your best. We have a wide selection of sport and safety glasses to fit your young athlete's needs and help keep them safe. Our safety glasses can be made with or without prescription correction, tint, anti-reflective, and anti-fogging coating. Let our pediatric optometrists and staff help you see your best. Visit us online or come in to White Eye Care in Logan today. Giovanni's of Logan. Visit the newly renovated restaurant and convenient drive through It is the Italian place to be. Call today, 304-752-9030 or check out their specials online at giovanni'slogan.com. The Southern Wildcats would like to wish all the high school basketball teams the best of luck in the postseason. Injured in a car wreck? Need a criminal defense lawyer? Call Justin Markham. He will fight for you. When you are injured, it's important to find someone to protect your interests. Justin Markham and his team will do just that. Call Justin Markham at Next Step Legal, 304-235-235. 1475 304 235 Rec. Justin Markham, Next Step Legal. At Boone Memorial Health, every patient is an important patient. As primary care providers, care starts with us. Understanding patients' health concerns is the first step in great care. We take our responsibilities seriously to listen to get to the bottom of a diagnosis, to teach, to care. You choose Boone, you choose the start to a healthier life. Make the choice today. Boone Memorial Health, we're bringing medicine home. Welcome to the BSN Halftime Report, right here on Mountain Dreams Media. What's up, everybody? We are back here in Ripley. Halftime score, 35-31. And beside me, I have former Logan Wildcats star, state champion, first time ever state champion on the women's side, Peyton Ilderton. Yep. Once again, I'm back. <laughs> Peyton, tell us how your first season at Marshall went. Um, it was fun. I definitely learned a lot. Um, I think that I improved playing against better competition. So uh, it's definitely – I know what I need to work at to get to play more next year, and I'm excited for next year. Well, how, how did the season finish up? How did you guys end up? How would you do? Uh, well, we went to conference last week in Pensacola. We played Wednesday against Coastal, and we beat them. And then we played again – Friday to get to go to the semifinal, but we lost to JMU, and they ended up winning it. They're a good team, but. They won the conference? Yeah. So you got beat by the best. Yeah, we got beat by the best. 
So what does this summer look like for you? This summer? I'm definitely going to be in a gym. I'm going to be in the weight room. And I just I know what I need to work on. I need to work on a mid-range game and stuff like that. So I'm definitely going to try and improve that and ball handling and stuff so I, that I can see the floor more than I did this year. What was your favorite part of the year? My favorite part of the year? Mm-hmm. My favorite memory of this year was we played at JMU on their senior night, our last game of the season, and we beat them Ooh. at JMU. Yeah, that was probably the best one. It was a big game. It's always good when you get to spoil somebody's senior night. Yes. I don't think that they were expecting us to come in like we did, and we took advantage of it. Oh, good. So next year, what is your role looking like? Where? What? How, how do you think everything's going to shake out? What's your goals? Tell me everything. Next year, we pretty much return the same team except three players. Um, so I think that if I work on my ball handling and shooting and stuff, I will see the floor more, whether it's at the one or two spot. And you so, did see the floor yeah, this year. Yeah, I did, I did see the floor this year uh, more than that I had originally expected to, so that was definitely. I saw it coming. Yeah. I mean, I worked hard for it, so, but next and year. And that's why I saw it coming. Yeah, but next year I'm hoping to play more and expand on those minutes. Well, I'm sure you will as long as you keep yeah. working and, and staying in that gym. Now, you're back here watching your little brother yeah. play. What would you tell these Logan Wildcats right here? I just, they just need to keep it up. And there's two kids that are scoring for them and shooting, and we need to get a hand up in their face. I mean, that's what's killing us right uncontested now. Uncontested threes. Yeah. I mean, the big guy isn't really hurting us right now, but. It's uncontested threes that are killing us. And we're only down by four. So, yeah. I mean, if we can fix that, I think that we're going to win it. Well, Peyton, a pleasure as always. I appreciate you. Thanks for having me again. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Anytime you want to come on, you just say the word and you'll get on. Okay. Sounds good. Well, good luck next year. Good luck on everything. Thank you. See you. And that was Peyton Ilderton, star at Logan High School. She won the first state championship in Logan High history for women, um, coached by Kevin Gertz. That was, it, it was actually the first state championship in the county history. Um, and yeah, it was, we appreciate her coming on. And with that, we will go to a break and be right back here on Mountain Dreams Media with the second half. Hey, it's Sydney with your total automotive experience waiting at Thornhill GM Superstore. Let's trade keys. Swing by Thornhill GM where well-qualified buyers enjoy 2.9% APR for 60 months on new GMC Sierra 1500 models, plus no payments for 90 days. Welcome to Allstate. You already paid for car insurance. Why not take your home along for the ride? Allstate. Here, better protection costs a whole lot less. You're in good hands with Allstate. Call a local agent or 1-800-ALLSTATE for a quote today. They say home is where the heart is. Southern West Virginia Community and Technical College has campuses located in the heart of the coal fields. Southern is providing the tools and the skills to change lives. With over 50 accredited degrees and programs, we are building the pathways to solid, good-paying careers. Southern can be the first step in getting you wherever you want to go in life. When you come to Southern, you're right at home. Come home to Southern. Southern West Virginia Community and Technical College. Visit southernwv.edu. You can't keep your eye on the ball without the right glasses. Come see us at White Eye Care for the right prescription to help you play your best. We have a wide selection of sport and safety glasses to fit your young athlete's needs and help keep them safe. Our safety glasses can be made with or without prescription correction, tint, anti-reflective, and anti-fogging coating. Let our pediatric optometrists and staff help you see your best. Visit us online or come in to White Eye Care in Logan today. Giovanni's of Logan. Visit the newly renovated restaurant and convenient drive-thru. It is the Italian place to be. Call today, 304-752-9030 or check out their specials online at giovannislogan.com.
Find new roads and go anywhere this year in a new Chevy from Thornhill GM Superstore. It's Sydney, and we're heating things up this winter with 4.99% APR for 72 months on new Chevy Equinox Blazer and Traverse, plus 90-day payment deferral. Get your Chevy at Thornhill. And we are back here on Mountain Dreams Media. Stevie Browning and champion coach Seth Hayner. Coach, the Wildcats are down four going into this second half. What do you see? What do you think needs to be done? To be honest, I, I like everything that we've done so far. I like the – in the beginning, I like the 2-2-1. Two, two, uh, the run and jump's been worked. We keep losing the guy in the corner from time to time, uh, and they, they can hit shots. But I think the more and more that we keep speeding them up, you know, those shots are going to get harder to make. Because uh, if you've noticed, that, that whole second quarter there, almost for three minutes, it was – they were using every bit of that eight – 10 seconds to get mm -hmm. past half court every trip, yeah. which is going to wear you down. Yes, it will. Um, one thing I would like to see Logan do is is have something ready to go against that 2-3 zone. Mm -hmm. um, if they play it spread, I like what you said as far as – we because we got Scotty. Uh, I think Cole can take people off the dribble. Yep. Uh, Julius We've has been getting around guards. the rim. Yeah. We've got all skilled guards that can handle the ball and shoot it. So we need to drive attacks. Get people to, to, to suck in and then kick out, shoot threes, take layups when we got them, just play, play free. Man, this is this is possibly, you know, all these seniors' last games. They might as well – you might as well leave it all on the line right now. It's, it's awesome being here right now, too. I started with Stevie as this group. Yep. Full circle, Seth. I think we need to set those screens on the outside of that zone. If they're going to leave the middle, what, send, send somebody in there? Curl off of it, maybe. And Slack will sw swing it That's around. good ball movement. Cole, three up, no good. Williamson will get it. And a two up and good by Williamson, who is playing his tail off. And Logan in a blue press. And out of bounds. They will get a on the line violation by Casto, and that will give Logan the ball back down two. Inbounds goes to Williamson. I think they. I think if they're going to run that pick and roll, they need to flip the side and go on the outside. Browning will take a three. Up hard, no good. Logan will run down the rebound. Williamson will get it. Slack has it. He drives. Swings out to Williamson. To Scotty. Julius in the corner three, another air ball. We are getting boards. Offensive rebound, Stevie. The only two that want to box out are the bigs. Yep. Those three guards have not crashed once. And that was a good follow and, and, and stick back by Slack there. Big Johnson will catch the ball down the first low. First time I've seen him catch Dribble it. Dribble it back out. Ripley swings it around. Johnson has it at the top of the key. Swings it around to Casto, over to other Casto. Johnson has it, charged. Aiden Slack steps over at the right time, in the right position, takes it right to the chin. And he's fired up, and this Logan crowd giving it to him. I think that's two on the big man. Yep. So you want to go at him. Williamson with the ball, swings it to Clancy. I'll tell you what, we've got the momentum right now. Right now's a chance to grab a lead real quick. And Logan will swing it around. Browning thinks about it. Clancy drives, takes it, misses the layup. I like it, though. I like being aggressive. Yep. And Casto with the ball. He pushes. Swings it to good. Back to Casto. Over to Johnson. They'll leave him. He might have walked will... into that shot. And Johnson makes a three and puts Ripley up by three. Williamson has it. Drives. He's slack, slack over to Clancy. Back out to Browning. Our We're offense just... tends to go side running. If we ain't getting nobody cutting or getting the ball into the, the foul line right there, our offense goes side to side. Williamson three up, no good. Another offensive rebound. Cole with the rebound. Scotty with it. Swings back to Blankenship. Three up and good. That's a 317 steakhouse three by Cole Blankenship to tie this thing up. That's three buckets, Stevie. Three back to back to back for all off of offensive rebounds. Yep, and that'll take us to a 30 second timeout, and we will be right back here on Mountain Dreams Meet. 
can't keep your eye on the ball without the right glasses. Come see us at White Eye Care for the right prescription to help you play your best. We have a wide selection of sport and safety glasses to fit your young athlete's needs and help keep them safe. Our safety glasses can be made with or without prescription correction, tint, anti-reflective, and anti-fogging coating. Let our pediatric optometrists and staff help you see your best. Visit us online or come in to White Eye Care in Logan today. And we are back here in Ripley. Tie ball game, 38-38 with five minutes and 29 seconds to go. Logan looks like they are in a man-to-man -man press. And they will get a quick trap. Ball swung around over to good. And I think that might have been, was that a running jump or were we in a diving there? That was a running jump, I do believe. Johnson will drive. He'll take a left-handed floater, no good. And they will call a push on Williamson, and they will call it two shots. The Logan bench confused. Coach Green's wanting that on the floor out there? I think he wasn't wanting a foul at all. <laughs> but if they were going to give it to him, I think he was wanting it on the floor. First free throw for Johnson, up and good. That's his 10th point of the game. Second free throw. Tell no, you what, to be that good. big and to have that stroke, to have that good of a shot, man. He, opportunities are going to come if it, as far as he wants to take it. No question about that. Williamson drives, swings it around to Browning. Back to Clancy over the slack. Nice and pass. A nice back door by Cole Blankenship. Nice feed by Garrett Williamson and Ripley off to the races. Good defense. And a tough make by Anderson right there. Williamson passes back to Browning. Browning gets called for a travel. Logan down two. They will stay in this press. Good with the ball. They'll swing it up. Johnson will take a three, no good. Bling a chip off to the races. Yep, and I think that's where Logan needs to push it like I, you were waiting yeah, for. Uh, let's get out and go, man. We get a board like that. Four guys not on our end with them. Let's go. Browning swings it around, back around. Nobody at the high post right now. I like somebody always. There we go. I like somebody being in there. Slack with it. We'll feed Williamson. And Clancy will have it. Thanks It'll get does. tipped around and stay here. And Glick back into the game for Clancy. Williamson will take the ball out. They will swing it around up to Browning. Browning looking at this zone. Swings it to Glick. I like Back somebody at the high post. Blanket ship for three. Up, no good. Back iron. Ripley will have it, and they will push. They'll slow it down. Myers with it. The big men have noticed that we do like to take charges in the Logan area. They yes, are they a lot of their shots there. Oh, might have been another and one. And they will call a block. Both refs concur. And that will be on Aiden Slack. Looks like we got Ivan Miller. And, and did they call the Fielderton continuation? And no, they did not call the continuation. So the ball will be out of bounds on the baseline. End of the game, McCormick, Ilderton, and Ivan Miller. They'll inbound up to Myers over to Johnson. Johnson skipped past the good. Good three up, no good. Let's Rebound, go. Williamson. And... Man, you, you hear me getting excited. Every, I want to get out and run. I yep. don't even want to let him get in this zone. They'll swing it around. Williamson has it. Coach I, Green calls may be, the play. I may be like Jaron there at the high post where Ivan's at. Somebody with a, is going to shoot that elbow jumper. Browning passes to Williamson. Pass. Williamson three up. No good. 
Ball tipped around into the hands of Anderson. Ripley pushes, gets it to Johnson. Johnson to Myers. Back to Johnson. Browning with a steal. And he will up no good, but a foul will be called on Myers for an over the back. Nope, that'll be on good for an over the back on McCormick Elderton. Another layup missed. Inbounds goes to Miller. He'll swing it to Browning. Williamson will drive. Swing it to Glick. Browning will pull up, and he will head to the free throw line, looking to tie this game at 42. Scotty, so I'll get it back. Don't worry. But that's 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 the kind of possessions that Logan needs right there. They yeah. need to get that in and out. Garrett drove the baseline, drew the defense, the defense in, kicks it to Glick. Glick kicks it to Scotty. They get a, a late rotation and something. Same good thing happens. happened with uh, from Scott, from what I could see, man. Our, our offense still no go, you know, sideline to sideline. You know, that, that zone has really been a problem for us. First free throw, no good by Browning. Second free throw for Browning. Up and good. Were we in a and diamond here? Good with the ball. Yep. Nope. Yep, we're still in the diamond. Those are the passes we like. Oh. And three up and good by Casto. That's Dylan Casto's fourth three of the game. And that puts Ripley up four. And Browning will get to a pull up and good. Nice pull up. And that makes it a two point game. Ripley races ahead. And a good block oh. by Glick. Oh, they call a foul. And that will send Cade Goods to the line. I tell you what, we took. And that'll be Jaron Glick's fourth foul. I, I like all the charges we have took in the first half because they, I've seen a lot of jump stops and floaters a little bit farther from the basket. Ripley does not want to go in and get no contact because they know that we are going to wear that. Yep. And that free throw up and no good by good. And that is what they say. Ball don't lie. No, it does not. Second free throw for good. Up. No good again. Ball really doesn't lie. Browning with the ball. Logan down two. He'll get a screen. He'll pull up for three. No good. Rattled yeah, around the rim. Slack with full court pressure. And Johnson has it. Skip past the good. Out of bounds. He is on the line. Rip, Ripley kind of likes to play a slow game, too. You know, every time they get in transition, it, it usually kind of stops and turns into them pulling it out. They got bigs. Yep. Bigs don't love to run up and down the court. I think we need it. Right now, I'm, I'm jetting down this floor right now if I'm Scotty. I, I'm hurried up getting into something getting as quick as possible. Scotty drives. Nice kick Kicks out. it to Slack. Three up. No good. good. Out. That's us. Slack with the ball. Well. Kick it to Clancy. Clancy drives. Swings to Ilderton. Back to Clancy. Logan will set up. Browning with the ball. And they will call a travel on him. And These refs have done great, man. I don't know if I like that one, but the, the refs have been good so far. Well, they've been consistent with the travels yeah, all been, night. So yeah. you know you know, you, you can't. I thought he pivoted a little bit before he went. You, know? you got to put it down. You got to make sure you put it down before you put that, put that foot up because they are calling it. And Ivan Miller will go for a steal, not get it, and that will lead to a Johnson layup. Logan still down four with a minute in this third quarter. Logan has it. Clancy has it. Back up to Browning. And with 40 seconds left, Scotty will get the orders from Coach Green. And Coach Green will tell him to take one shot. It's going to make Ripley's players want to go out and guard. The coach is screaming, no, we're going to stay in that zone. As would I if I were up for 20 seconds. And Clancy has it up top with 15. 
10. Short. And they sniffed it out. Clancy will have it. Rebound by the same. And it looked like Ivan Miller and, and Slack were fighting for that rebound right there. And that'll take us to the fourth quarter. Logan down four here on Mountain Dreams Media. The Southern Wildcats would like to wish all the high school basketball teams the best of luck in the postseason. Injured in a car wreck? Need a criminal defense lawyer? Call Justin Markham. He will fight for you. When you're injured, it's important to find someone to protect your interests. Justin Markham and his team will do just that. Call Justin Markham at Next Step Legal, 304-235-235. 1475 304 235 REC. Justin Markham, Next Step Legal. What's up, everybody? We are back here in Ripley. About to start the fourth quarter of this one. Logan down four in this regional championship game. And this is when you've got to leave it all on the line, coach. I feel like this is like deja vu to me right now, being on this floor, man. And Logan will start off trapping half court. Out of bounds. Oh, and they caught a foul on Julius, they, I believe. No, they caught a foul on Ivan. Yep. That foul will be on Miller. And Logan going to a man-to-man, -man, probably trapping. Yep. And he will lose the ball, and I don't know what's going to happen. There we go. Logan got it. Let's get up and go. Yep, this is where you got to push right here. And layup blocked, but it'll stay in Logan. Stay with Logan. Williamson needs to keep trying to get in there and, and facilitate around. And that ball will be inbounded to Browning. Back to Williamson. Clancy over to Browning. Browning drives baseline, kicks it to Williamson. Williamson spins, loses it. And Ripley will get possession. Empty possessions are what the Wildcats can't have right now. You got to at least get a shot up. And Logan will trap. And they will kick out the good. And they will pass it to Aiden Slack. And that will be a blocking foul and will send Slack to the line to shoot two. That's going to be Logan's best offense right there is good defense. Like I said earlier, man, as this, game goes, as this game goes on, we've been speeding them up for three quarters. You're going to see that fatigue start to come in. Well, we will see if those words hold true. And I don't think I don't think Ripley's went very deep on their bench. Through the, I mean, I've only seen maybe six or seven guys on the floor. First free throw up and good by Slack. That'll make it a three-point game. Second free throw for Slack coming up. No good. Logan still in a press, and Slack will get another steal. And Casto will steal it right back. And, ooh, Johnson drives, and he will get fouled. Williamson not happy with the call. And that will send Johnson to the line for two more. First free throw for Johnson. Up and good. And 
into the game. Cole Blankenship for Ivan Miller. Second free throw for Johnson. Up. Good. Logan will roll the ball up, trying to save as much time as possible. Browning with it. He'll take a three. And a 317 Steakhouse three right on time for Scotty Browning. And they will call a, a bump on Julius Clancy. Okay, Coach Green getting on to him. We're just trying to beat him those spots on that sideline. If we're in the jump, you know, we want to turn him. You got to turn him back around. And Logan going to a man to man. I like that. We are not going to see Scotty get that many open looks. I was kind of shocked they even played off of him that much. And Logan in scramble mode. And he will pass it over the top. And Ripley throwing the ball everywhere. Possession. And it's rolling around. Ball's on the ground. Comes up with Williamson. Williamson. Clancy with it. He'll what lay it up. Play. He's good. What and a that, play right there. That was an amazing play. That was a hustle point in the long pass. That's how we got to go. I love it to that speed. And another foul by Clancy. And that will put Ripley in the one and one. Fans are a little upset. But like you said, they've been consistent with everything. Yeah, I thought that was a foul. I thought, actually, I thought both those two by Julius were foul. Julius just got to try to beat him to those spots they're going to instead of riding him. Or let him go. Yeah. Let him go and chase him yeah. down. That's the whole premise of, of the run and jump. We you took a to... lot of charges. And I, don't, I don't see him really finishing as aggressive. That first free throw up by Dylan Casto. Good. Second free throw for Casto. Up. No good. Ball bounced around. That's the third time I've seen three trips in a row we've been on the floor. Browning will have it. He'll drive, and he will get fouled. Not in a one-on-one -on -one yet. Logan down one with the ball with five minutes and 40 seconds here left in this game. I think them, I think they've seen your boys, man. They know that this, this could be the last one. That's three or four trips back to back to back with nothing but bodies on the floor. Absolutely. Browning with the ball. He'll swing it to Clancy. Browning directing traffic. And I didn't see what happened. Cole with the back door there. Just a little misread. But, hey, we got into that gap. Got, got, the, got to the high post. You got a jumper or you got that drop off. And we just got to get there. And there will be a full timeout on the floor, so we will go to a break and be right back here on Mountain Dreams Media. At Boone Memorial Health, every patient is an important patient. As primary care providers, care starts with us. Understanding patients' health concerns is the first step in great care. We take our responsibilities seriously. To listen. To get to the bottom of a diagnosis. To teach. To care. When you choose Boone, you choose the start to a healthier life. Make the choice today. Boone Memorial Health. We're bringing medicine home. Welcome to Allstate. You already paid for car insurance. Why not take your home along for the ride? Allstate. Here, better protection costs a whole lot less. You're in good hands with Allstate. Call a local agent or 1-800-ALLSTATE for a quote today. And we are back here on Mountain Dreams Media. Five minutes and 33 seconds left in this one. Coach Seth Hainer, put on your seatbelt and buckle up. Because this one's going to get wild. Strapped in, sir. We are in a diamond. Are we still with a running? Nope, it's a diamond. And Ripley has a good bailout. All they got to do is throw it high to Johnson. I, I love, look at this, this struggle right here. Oh, we and we got a steal. Browning races up. He'll get a layup and good and give Logan a lead. Got to stay with that press, man. I love that press. Good has it. He walked. Oh, he did walk. And a foul and an and one by Anderson. And the Logan crowd and bench wanting to walk. Thought he might have walked there, Steve. It looked like it. 
And that puts Ripley back up one. They're going to have to box out right here. Free throw up. Good. And Glick comes back into the, into the game. He's got to watch out. He's got four fouls. And that will bring Aiden Slack out. Logan down two. 53-51. Browning will have it. He'll kick it to Williamson. Williamson will drop it off to Gla Glick. Glick will have it. Kick it to Scotty. Scotty, three. Up, no good. Nice board. Clancy with the rebound. He will go through. Will try and go through Johnson. And Logan retains possession and kicks it back out. We have battled on the boards on the offensive end. That's weird saying. We have got... I feel like we might have had more on that end. Oh, nice and a tough left-handed layup by Browning to tie this game back up at 53s. Speed them up. They throw them long passes, Stevie. Yep. Another one. Oh, Scotty almost had a – and he will foul Anderson. It's a good foul. I like, I, I like that, though. He went for the ball. Make them earn them from the line. But like you were saying earlier, Julius, right there we got beat, still just kept chasing, and, and those things right there will happen, yeah. stuff like that. You, then Julius, I think he was thinking he gets beat, it's giving up a layup. No, you, in a run and jump, you want to get beat. First free throw up and good. Logan needs to make sure they box out right here. Johnson going to be on this glass. Second free throw, up and good. Anderson consistent from the line. Ripley up two. Scotty Browning, three, up, no good. And a quick trap. Casto with it, back to Casto. Down to good. And a layup by Anderson. And that will push it to a four-point lead. And the ball will be swung around by the Wildcats. Oh! And a timeout called when Logan had a wide-open layup. And it is a full timeout, so we will go back to a commercial break on that here on Mountain Dreams Media. Find new roads and go anywhere this year in a new Chevy from Thornhill GM Superstore. It's Sydney, and we're heating things up this winter with 4.99% APR for 72 months on new Chevy Equinox Blazer and Traverse, plus 90-day payment deferral. Get your Chevy at Thornhill. They say home is where the heart is. Southern West Virginia Community and Technical College has campuses located in the heart of the coal fields. Southern is providing the tools and the skills to change lives. With over 50 accredited degrees and programs, we are building the pathways to solid, good-paying careers. Southern can be the first step in getting you wherever you want to go in life. When you come to Southern, you're right at home. Come home to Southern. Southern West Virginia Community and Technical College. Visit southernwv.edu. Hey, it's Sydney with your total automotive experience waiting at Thornhill GM Superstore. Let's trade keys. Swing by Thornhill GM where well-qualified buyers enjoy 2.9% APR for 60 months on new GMC Sierra 1500 models, plus no payments for 90 days. And we are back here on Mountain Dreams Media. Logan with the ball. Browning has it. And Ripley going 1-3-1. One, one. Clancy with the ball. They'll swing it around. Browning has it. Drives around. Layup and one good. And Logan gets a chance for three when they call the timeout with a layup. So, a good move by Coach Green. <laughs> yes, so it was. And a nice drive by Scotty Browning right there on the reverse. But one three one. I, I don't know how long he's going to stay in that because we drive pretty well from that from that base, from that corner. Yep. Free throw up. I think he had more luck in the zone. And good. Casto drives. And a foul on Cole Blankenship, and that will send Isaiah Castle to Two the line. Two shots. Yep, and that is Cole Blankenship's 
first foul. First free throw up and good. Puts it at a two-point lead for Ripley. Logan going to have to box out both the bigs down there. Next free throw up and good. Three-point lead, Ripley. Quickly back into that 2-3. Yep. Blankenship, three, no good. Walk. Oh, my there. goodness. And Ripley has it, and I'm sure they will be patient. Browning guards. And Ripley has it around, and they will feed it down low. And layup no good, but a foul on Slack. And that will send Johnson to the line for two more, and that is Aiden Slack's fifth foul. He is fouled out of this contest. This will give Ripley a chance to go up five with two minutes and 56 seconds left. And the Logan crowd getting on to the rest. Heavily. First free throw up, good. These two bigs for Ripley have done a, a great job shooting free throws. Yep. Second free throw up and good. Staying back in the zone. He got out that 13 real quick. Browning with the inbound. He'll swing to Williamson. Back to Browning. He'll drive, and he will get fouled and go to the line. And that is... I think that's his third. Johnson's third. Browning what we with want, right? We'll take points without the clock running. Absolutely. Ivan Miller checking in the game. Browning, first free throw. Up, oh, no good. Got to make your free throws. Second free throw for Browning. Up, uh, good. That makes it a four-point game. Logan in a 2-2-1. Good press Ripley right here. Will swing it around. Get it in the hands of good. Still trapping. And not giving up baseline there. Good. And the ball will roll around. And a timeout will be called. And... This will be a full timeout, so we will go to a commercial break and be right back here on Mountain Dreams Media. You can't keep your eye on the ball without the right glasses. Come see us at White Eye Care for the right prescription to help you play your best. We have a wide selection of sport and safety glasses to fit your young athlete's needs and help keep them safe. Our safety glasses can be made with or without prescription correction tint, anti-reflective, and anti-fogging coating. Let our pediatric optometrists and staff help you see your best. Visit us online or come in to White Eye Care in Logan today. Giovanni's of Logan. Visit the newly renovated restaurant and convenient drive through It is the Italian place to be. Call today, 304-752-9030, or check out their specials online at GiovanniSlogan.com. And we are back here for the final two minutes and 30 seconds of this contest. Logan down four, and they're going to have to make something happen. Casto to Casto. And a trap, and it looks like a jump ball, and that will be... Logan Ball made something happen. Yep. Got to get a bucket right here for the Wildcats. Need, a, need one bad. Williamson has it. I don't, I don't think Rip was very good on the offensive end as far as in this situation taking off time off that clock. Like, they're pretty, ooh. Logan will turn it over. 
Pass to Johnson. Johnson shoots. Up, no good. Gets his own rebound back. Walks. Oh, boy. And they will call a foul. And a technical on Garrett Williamson. And that is not good for the Wildcats. A tough, tough call to make right there. I, I thought he did. I thought he did walk. He had three or four bodies around him there. And the big man is not who they want on the foul line. The big man, they, I think they've been perfect from the foul line tonight. Yep. No, he's missed one early in the contest in the second quarter. Logan down for two minutes to go. Sending Johnson to the line. So Ripley will have back-to-back two-shot free throws right and here. And the ball. And the ball. Logan will dig themselves a hole. First free throw by Johnson up and good. Second free throw by Johnson up and good. And it is it be four free throws where it was the foul uh, on the floor. Yep. And third free throw from Johnson, no good. Regardless, Ripley will get this ball. I do believe it's a four point. It could have been a four point swing and the ball. He's got three out of it. Yep. And Logan down seven with a minute 58 to go. Gonna have to make something right happen. Try to get a pressure turnover, speed him up. And Ripley's just gonna take time off the clock if they can. And they're a bunch jumping. of good. They're a bunch of good free throw shooters, so it's gonna be tough. And Logan will get one to tip around, and it will stay Ripley ball. And ball picked up. Layup up, no good. Rebound got back. Foul on the floor, no shot. He'll shoot free throws. Johnson has shot six free throws in one possession. Yes, he has. First free throw for Johnson. Up, good. Johnson has only shot free throws here in this fourth quarter. And that'll be his 10th free throw of the quarter. And Logan down nine. Browning drives, kicks to Clancy. Clancy will get into the body and one on Johnson. That'll be his fourth foul. And that will send Clancy to the line to make this a six-point game, possibly. And Logan going to have to make something happen. Free throw up, no good. And Clancy will get a rebound and a, and a steal and a bucket. And Ripley will have it. And they will swing it around. Good trap. And and one by Rock, by Anderson. Logan had a chance right there. And that'll send Anderson to the line to try and make it a nine-point game again. Free throw up, good by Anderson. And ball inbound, Browning will have it. Three up, no good. Rebound corralled, and a foul. I uh, will see who they call it on. 
And that will be on number one, Julius Clancy. That will be his fourth. And Johnson a chance to make it a double-digit lead for the Vikings. First free throw up and good. Makes it a nine-point game. Johnson and the other big man. That is they Johnson's. They're going to be shooting 95% right now. That's Johnson's 11th free throw of the quarter. And the 12th free throw of the quarter for Johnson, no good. And a foul. Oh, my God. Williamson has it. Up and good. Down seven. Coach Green will take a timeout with 55 seconds left, and it will be a full. So we will go to a break and be right back here on Mountain Dreams Media. The Southern Wildcats would like to wish all the high school basketball teams the best of luck in the postseason. Injured in a car wreck? Need a criminal defense lawyer? Call Justin Markham. He will fight for you. When you are injured, it's important to find someone to protect your interests. Justin Markham and his team will do just that. Call Justin Markham at Next Step Legal. We are back here in Ripley. Fun stat for you. Ripley, in this fourth quarter alone, has shot 20 foul shots. Logan shot five. Well, and I know in one trip they shot six. but uh... And it'll be Ripley ball up seven with 55 seconds left. Logan's not out of it, but they're going to have to make something happen. And tell you what, Rip, we keep this pressure. I'm looking for one of them long passes will happen right here. And a foul called after a flop. Fooled the ref right there. And that will be Ripley's 22nd free throw of this fourth quarter. Elder 10. Take that back. I think they've shot 23 free throws now. This will be quarter. this will be their 21st and 22nd, I do believe. Up and good. And yep, that'll be free throw number 24 of this fourth quarter from Ripley. Browning will swing it around. He'll take a three. Uh, no good. And Ripley will have it with 39 seconds left and a foul on Williamson. And that makes it real tough for the Wildcats. In a spot right here. And that is Garrett Williamson's fifth foul. He will get a standing ovation from this loading crowd, as he should. Free throw up and good by Johnson. I feel like we've said that a million times in this fourth quarter. Ripley's going to shoot 30, 30 free throws in the fourth quarter alone. Next free throw up and good. Browning will have it. He'll drive. Left-handed layup, up, no good. And Ripley has it with 30 seconds left. And they'll miss a layup, get it back, miss a layup again. Glick has it, swings it to Browning. Browning to Elderton, Elderton three up. That's a 317 Steakhouse three. And with 15 seconds left, Logan down. Uh, eight. We will take a 30-second timeout, and we're just going to stay here. 
Um, That's a whole lot of free throws in that fourth quarter. Gonna have to, gonna have to find Reggie Miller. <laughs> yeah. And sub him in the game. Somebody's got to heat up real quick. Ripley fans waving their goodbyes. What do you think? Is that? We, obviously, we're just manning up, denying everybody the inbound. Yeah, still a foul. You're in still a foul mode right now. And Logan will be in a man-to-man. -man. That's a flop, and a flop is a technical. That's a flop, and a flop is a technical. There's no way they call has to call, He has to call this because he called it before. There's no way he's going to call that. He does not know that rule. I know him. And... And I he'll bait flopped. him into another one, another flop. That, he and can't flop three times. In a, they got to know he's flopping. He showed him. He showed him that he was going to do it right there, and then he did it. And the ref fell for it again. So, And Coach Green gets a technical, as he should. And Corey Townsend on the court. Here comes the sheriff to grab him. And Corey Townsend going to get an Corey ovation. gets an ovation. Ripley going to shoot their 30th. Corey Townsend went down to find me. Corey was on the court right there. Hey, that just shows the passion we got here, man. And who would have guessed it? More free throws for the Vikings. 34 right here. And a timeout, White. We'll probably just stay here. That's a full timeout. We'll stay right here. And everybody in Logan giving it to the rest, as they should. I don't know who... And it's a lot going on on the court right now. Police everywhere. Coach Green is on the floor talking to the official now. I mean, you get you can't get mad at it, man. They thirty free throws in one quarter. It's incredible. That uh, I've never seen anything like this. And with 15 seconds left, up eight, Casto will go to the line to shoot one of two of their million free throws in this quarter. First one up, good. That'll put them up nine, 15 seconds left. And second free throw up, and good. And cast those blowing kisses to the crowd. And two more free throws. Another free throw. Let's just give them more free throws. The whole fourth quarter's been free throws. Let's see how many free throws we can give them. Another free throw. Good. And that is now... That is 28 free throws in this fourth quarter alone for the Vikings. I've never seen that. I haven't even seen that in an NBA game. No. This game just it stayed close all the way until about those last three minutes, Stevie. That, that technical was a big six-point swing in the ball. Did they score after the technical? I think he went to the line again. Nope. And Logan will let them dribble this out. And that will do it for the Wildcats this season. They battled adversity. Yes, they did. They fought through a lot. And they've had a heck of a season. They should keep their heads up. Remember this feeling. 
and let it be what fuels them this offseason. Yep. And just like that, this one ends. Final score of 78-66. The Ripley Vikings will head to the state tournament. And that will do it here on Mountain Dreams Media. We appreciate all you guys that's tuned in for this basketball season. Um, it's been a it's been a it's been a joy and a pleasure, and we have a lot more in store for you in baseball season. And um, you know, hats off to this Logan team and, and and their coaching staff and all the Logan fans that came to support them today, all the people watching. Um, man, you guys are what makes Logan a great place to grow up and be an athlete. And we appreciate you guys. And we will sign out for our last time this basketball season, this 2022-23 basketball season on Mountain Dreams Media. We'll see y'all.